Hey guys, Alex here. It's a beautiful but hot Sunday late afternoon, July 31st, 2022. Can't believe tomorrow is August and it's, uh, what's the time right now? It is 4.36. And I'm here at the uh, intersection of Richmond Street East and Parliament Street. Actually, this is where uh, Richmond begins. It's paralleled by Adelaide, which is one block to the south of here. Adelaide goes uh, east. And Richmond goes west. I just did a walking video of Parliament and parts of that. I did one along uh, Queens Key East and the uh, East Waterfront. And now I'm going to do another last minute uh, walking video for the east side of downtown to uh, Young Street. It's kind of interesting too because it was two days ago on Friday. I, did a walking video along Adelaide Street, it's heading in the other direction, going with the traffic. So now I'm doing that again, but I'm heading west. So we are currently in the Court Town neighborhood. According to that sign up there, we are crossing uh, Berkeley Street. I was at Liberty Village earlier today. I didn't expect that'd be uh, making a whole lot of uh, uh, videos. And yet, I, I now have videos dating back to like two weeks, two to three weeks to post. It's kind of milly because I'm uh, posting the very big videos, you know, like when I went to the CN Tower or some elevator videos that I recently filmed. And there's the CN Tower, but it's obstructed by, uh, I think it's obstructed by the uh, Bay Wellington Tower. Of course, those two towers there are part of the Brookfield Place complex. But again, as I mentioned, one tower is called the Bay Wellington. The other one is the uh, TD Canada Trust. The downtown east side is very gritty, but unfortunately it has a huge amount of, uh, it has a huge population of the homeless, the mentally ill, and so much people are drugged up. It's very sad. This area is technically not safe, in my opinion. If I Especially around the Dundas and Sherburne, it's very notorious. Moss Park, Regent Park. Here's Ontario Street. And according to that sign, Toronto used to be the old town of York. There's Adelaide. So there's Queen Street to the north of here, Moss Park. A lot of these old rundown apartments there. Very sketchy. And of course, the east side of downtown has obviously changed and gentrified a lot. I was giving my camera a break as it was almost uh, dead, so I charged it in my bag and I uh, filmed my last walking video on my. On this phone right here, the iPhone uh, 13, I have it on by mistake. Just got a thumbnail here looking west as I'm on the north side of Richmond. Hey, that's a fire alarm I'm hearing. What the hell? Feels like every time I'm doing a walking video, I'm hearing fire alarms. It's definitely coming from this apartment here. Holy shit. And it was just pulled. Oh, most of these instances, it's just freaking false alarms just pulled by silly douchebags. But you never know, and you must be ready to act in those type of situations. Well, mainly what they do, if you're in an apartment or a high rise, you gotta stay inside and wait for instructions, but I feel like that's not the right thing to do. I would just, uh, I would just uh, get the hell out of there. So here is Sherburne Street. It's very gritty, but it's also notorious, as I just mentioned, unfortunately. If you live around here, it's a different side. 
woods. I did so many videos around here. Not so many, but a few. A few of them at least. I ne never really felt unsafe. But I do plan to do a video of Jane Finch very soon. That's where my mom grew up. And I think I'm going to do that. I don't know when, but uh, probably not now. And I'm not going to film this with... I'm not going to film that video with the, with the camera. Those people, that's when people get a lot suspicious. Oh, look at that. Wow, eh? That's a great view. Looking to the east. Here's more of the CN Tower. Here's a George Brown St. James campus. I walked past the waterfront campus two videos ago. Well, just uh, not too long ago anyway. I think this is where my mom went when she was a student there. Ah, looks like they build new condos here. George Street. There's a famous diner up at the end of George, right by uh, Dundas. We're all in this together. That's, that was a very common saying or term. Oh, this is the diner. Oh, I thought it was on Dundas. It's closed. We don't have a lot of old school diners left in the city. And I think it's closed on Sundays. Because, you know, Sundays is way back then. Businesses were not allowed to open on Sundays because, you know, give people a rest for seven days in a week. But since, you know, a lot of people go out, spend time with, you know, their kids, families and stuff like that. Just like how my mom and her sister used to go downtown with her dad on Sundays to, like, inns and so many other places. Well, almost everywhere is open. I think back then I wouldn't really go out too, too much on Sundays because, you know, Sundays is like my day off, but yesterday I stayed at home pretty much all day because of the Caravana Festival and I didn't get outside until uh, the evening. Here is Jervis Street. Look at the, the little balcony doors here to get some fresh air. This reminds me of uh, Paris or Parisian apartments. Look at that. Very cool. Guess it's 179. Prices have been going down lately, but uh, they were recently freaking high at one point. I could also do a walking video down Jarvis. I'm gonna think about coming back to the east side of downtown. Well, at least the like near like around this area or uh, or by uh, like Bloor Street, Carlton. Look at that, there's a brown pigeon. We should be at Young Street pretty soon. Once you cross Young Street, we'll be in the uh, financial district, of course. Young divides east and west, so once you cross Young, it will become Richmond Street West. All right, now my camera is falling back to one bar. Yeah, I'm going home after this. Well, actually, maybe I'll stop into the Eden Center and just, you know, walk around, even though it was just there two days ago. But the last time I paid my fare was when I was transferring from the streetcar to the subway at King Station. It was at 3.40, and now it's... What's the time now? I do have... I still have a little bit of time, but I don't want to be paying three fares. Now it's 4.46, so I got 45 minutes left until my transfer expires. And that's the benefits of using a presser card. You know, once you tap, 
or you pay your fare, you have a uh, you have less than two hours to, uh, you know, get a free transfer when you transfer from from a subway station to a bus or streetcar line, or even from bus route to another. Here's Church Street. And uh, Young should be the next one. And just north of here is St. Michael's Hostel, where I was born, as I mentioned a lot of times. Allied, I noticed that for the second time today. Oh, here we are. Almost. There's another sightseeing bus. Not a lot, not so busy, but there's definitely international or foreign visitors on there because you know, a lot of uh, tourists from outside the country, they often uh, use the sightseeing buses. You know, it's, like, it's like a guided tour. I've never been on it myself, but uh, if, you are, if you are visiting Toronto for the first time, you should definitely uh, Easy you should off. definitely uh, give this a try. Oh, just a short video. Just a very short video. Oh no, there's Victoria Street. And then that then next street up ahead would be Young. Oh, I'm gonna have a pizza for dinner. There's a Pizza Novo down the street from where I live on Marley Avenue, so that's gonna be my dinner. Apologize, there's some occasional flares from the sun. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow, but tomorrow's a holiday, a civic holiday, so uh, everywhere is closed, but it's, again, it's a long weekend, so we gotta enjoy it. And now we're in the city's financial district. So finally, I'm gonna wrap up my filming extravaganza. That guy was going so fucking fast on his Segway. This guy's gotta slow down. Oh man. I think after I came here, a streamer called Out and About with yours truly, Lizzo, came around here. We missed each other by one hour apart, and she caught a truck struggling to uh, back up at the height of rush hour. Still have a, a bit of time, but uh, I gotta get going soon as I don't wanna pay another fare. So I'm gonna head inside the Eaton Center now. And maybe uh, check out the uh, mini Indian festival at uh, Young the Square. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well. And uh, I'll see you guys all in August. Well, I still have a lot of videos from this month to post. Because I've been going out filming videos every single day. I'll just send this up at Queen. All right, guys. So, take care. Adios. Au revoir. Sayonara. Man, it's really busy here on the Sunday. You are. All right. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.